every time that I go to upload a provisional patent onto the USPTO patent website, I get a message saying that some of my fonts are not embedded. So it says to remove the file, go back, embed the fonts, and upload it again. Now, when you are uploading, you can do a PDF or a Word document that's saved as a DOCX file. At the end of the video, I'll show you how to check and see if you have a DOCX file, but my version of Word automatically makes it a DOCX, so we'll get to that later. So back to the problem. So what I started to do was I finally figured out how to embed the fonts into Word, and then I was trying to figure out how to embed the fonts into a PDF. And then I remembered that you don't have to have your, like say your specifications or your Word files, the files with words in them, text, they don't have to be in a PDF. So to save yourself a step, I'm just gonna show you how to embed the fonts in Word and then just save it as a Word document, DOCX file. And for that file, don't even bother making it into a PDF because that's just one extra step and multiple extra steps because then you would also have to embed the fonts into the PDF. So anyway, let's get right into how to embed the fonts in Word. It's really easy. Let's jump to my screen. All right, here we are in your Word document and you need whatever font this is, Arial Black, whatever you happen to have, you need that embedded into your file to make the USPTO software happy. So this is real easy. You're gonna go up to File. Then you're gonna go down to Save As. Then if it doesn't take you to the next window, you're gonna to go to Browse, and that's gonna be your, be your next window. So it might automatically take you to Browse. It might automatically take you here. If not, just hit Browse. Then you're gonna go down to the bottom here. You're gonna to go down to Tools, hit your little black arrow, and then you're gonna go up to Save Options right here. And then on this screen, you're gonna go down to the bottom where it says embed fonts in the file. You're gonna check that. And then these next two boxes, embed only the characters used in the document, do not embed common system fonts. You're gonna make sure those are unchecked. So empty, empty, and you're gonna go down to okay. Now this line here is gonna have the name of your file, so put whatever you want in there. Delete later, number two. And as far as your location, that's gonna be listed up here, so Jim, personal, and documents. I'm just gonna put this in my desktop so I can delete it later. So name, location, and then you're gonna come down to the bottom here, and you're gonna hit save. So now this file is saved with an extra file that has the fonts embedded in it. So later when you need to navigate to it, it's gonna look something like this. And you're gonna be going to desktop. And then here it is, delete later too, and then save or whatever the button is on the USPTO website. Now, in order to tell, because your files need to either be in a Word document, which is a DOCX file, or a PDF format. So to tell what your file is, wherever your file's located, one place could be inside of this yellow folder, File Explorer or Window Explorer. Right click on your document and go down to Properties or Show More Options and then Properties. So we'll just go right to Properties and bring this over type of file, Microsoft Word document, it is a .docx file, and that's what you need. Now we could do the same thing here, delete later too, right click, either properties or show more options, properties, type of file, .docx. Now if you don't have a .docx, I can give you a little bit of help with that. So we'll go to file, save as, browse, Here's your name, now save as type, click in this rectangle here, this long skinny rectangle, and here's all the different types of files you can save it as. So one of these 
might make it into a DOCX file. I'm not sure which one. You might have to do some further research. You know, maybe 97, maybe Word XML. I'm not sure. But my version of Word automatically saves it as a DOCX file, and it shows it right here also. Delete letter 2 is a .docx file. All right, so that gets your fonts embedded into your Word document. That gets the USPTO software happy. The next problem you might have is that the USPTO software automatically takes a look at the file and say if your abstract has more than 150 words, it's gonna let you know. Say if you don't have your paragraphs numbered, it's gonna let you know. So those are problems that you might need to fix, you might not need to fix them. You'd have to seek more professional help for assistance on that, but this will get you past the annoying embedded font problem. Anything you need for your Raven crossbows, uh, backyardbroadheads.com, that is my website, and I have other hunting products on there as well. Thanks for watching.